Good morning, everyone. Now, I'm gonna speak on some real fucking shit right now. I'm gonna speak on some real goddamn shit. See, Jackson PD is very fucking lazy. Because over the last two years, my family's been attacked. I've had death threats thrown at me. I've had actual murder attempts on my life. Like actual somebody showing up here to my house trying to kill me on three separate occasions. And yet, nobody does anything. I call the cops. They show up here to take a report. Only to do what? To say that I'm mentally disturbed. They labeled me as a 43. Which, if y'all don't know what a 43 is, it's mentally disturbed. When clearly I'm not. You tell me to stay off social media. I stay off of social media for a month and a half. A month and a half I stay off social media. I go out, hang out with my friends, and have my regular life. But what does that get me? Hmm. That stay on social media for a month and a half gets me damn near killed three separate times. It gets me being called mentally disturbed by the fucking police. It gets my family and some of my friends attacked. It loses me my fucking job. It might not have been your typical 9 to 5 job, but it was still a job. Y'all police officers here in Akron are supposed to do your fucking job and serve and protect. But yet, you're not fucking doing it. You say, contact the FBI. I do that. What do they do? Oh, make a report and we'll look into it. Make a report and we'll look into it. That's all you fucking do. That's all you motherfuckers do. You say, make a report. Get off social media. Motherfucker, I've been off social media. The only thing I post to YouTube or Facebook anymore is me making my goddamn music. That's it. You can check my shit. Or I make a situation known that needs to be known about. Like with this dude named Scully who held his fucking family at gunpoint and got his house swatted and got shot in the leg who's now laid up in the day of fucking hospital recovering. And has been for the last few days. That's all I fucking do. Like, I'm a fucking artist. I'm a music artist. I'm a content creator. Yes, I am a public figure to a, to a certain, you know, extent. But I still deserve to have a fucking private life. This bullshit of, oh, you're a public figure. You you can't have a private life. That's fucking bullshit. 
Look at the music artist Ryan Up Church. Biggest country rap artist in the fucking game. He has a private life. Biggest author in the fucking world. J.K. Rowling. Author of the Harry Potter series. Very public figure. Has a private life. So what makes me different from any of them? And what pisses me off even more is that y'all go and label me as a 43 when I'm not. I'm not mentally fucking disturbed. I'm being conspired against by motherfuckers that don't that don't like me. All over some bullshit that they motherfucking pulled on my ass. They motherfucking entrapped me and they catfished me. Which, in case you don't fuck police officers here in Akron and haven't realized, that's a fucking crime. Unless, unless you fucking forgot, I mean, I mean, I thought y'all were supposed to know the fucking law. I thought you guys were supposed to know the law front and back. It appears to me that you fucking don't. It's sad when your own, when one of your own citizens of Akron knows the law better than you do. Catfishing someone is actually a crime. And trapping someone is a crime. Regardless of it's from another state or it's right here in your own fucking city. I'm tired of being fucking harassed. I'm tired of my family being attacked by motherfuckers like William Gloryhole, Mass Over Reports, and Music Biz Marty and all their little friends. And don't even tell me to stay off the internet, because like I said, I tried that. And what did it get me except being sent a dead baby pig still inside the mother fetus? Still inside the 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 fetal, the fetal sack, the fetus, and a bunch of nasty ass fucking shit, like dog shit in a fucking baggie, mixed with some hay. What does it get me other than being attacked? Having my family be attacked? I'm fucking tired of it. You got motherfuckers out here conspiring to attack me. Have me taken down because they see me as a pedophile when I'm not. Matter of fact, one of your own officers knows about that situation and even said that I'm not. But yet, you let these motherfuckers do what they do to me. Because of these fucking assholes all over social media, I now have to look over my back when I go out in public. I have to be on guard at all times. I have to carry protection with me. At all fucking times. It might be homemade protection, but it's still protection. I have to do shit that I shouldn't have to do. Hell, I can't even go down to the fucking corner store without have no look over my shoulder. Every car that drives by, I now have to fucking look at. And make sure that they're not out to fuck with me. Every fucking car, I have to look at and make sure that it's not one of these motherfuckers trying to come after my ass. You think I like living in fear? I don't. I find it funny how the Akron PD can find my best friend Zach Hussein's killer after two years, but yet yeah, y'all motherfuckers can't track down the guys that are fucking harassing me and bullying me and going after my family. 
and say something to them. I find that real fucking funny. I find that real fucking odd. Y'all can go out of your way and help all these motherfuckers that are going through similar situations. That deal with internet shit. That deal with online shit. But yet, you refuse to help me for whatever fucking reason. And I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of being attacked. And I'm tired of you fucking cops not doing your goddamn job. Because if y'all dumb fucks not doing your motherfucking job, I have to sit here at home in fear, not being able to release books that I've been working on for the last several months. Working on, I'm not even able to fucking work on a film script that was inspired by a creepypasta that actually turned out to be a fucking true story. I can't go out and do my photography like I used to do. I have to literally have them when my friends show up, they literally have to pull up to my front door. Like it's some sort of fucking security shit now. I have to literally have my friends pull up to my front door. To the fucking stairs. Right in front of my porch. With the passenger door open. So that I can get in the fucking car and go hang out. Just in case something fucking happens. And I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to do that kind of bullshit, man. I deserve a normal fucking life. I don't deserve this harassment. Okay, I've stayed off the internet for literally a month and a half. Literally a month and a half, almost two months. Staying off the internet, not doing anything. Just hanging out with my girlfriend at the time and gaming out with her. That's it. That's all I did for the last few months. But guess what it got me? It got me attacked. It got my friends and family attacked. It cost me my fucking job that I had. It cost me friendships that I'll never be able to get back. It's time y'all lazy fucks did your goddamn jobs. And maybe if you start taking this shit very seriously instead of blowing it off like it ain't shit. Maybe y'all would actually get somewhere with half these cases of people that go through the same shit that I go through. Y'all say you're here to serve and protect? No you're not. You ain't here to serve and protect. If you were, you'd be doing your job. You'd be helping to track down these motherfuckers that are doing this shit. I mean, come on. You guys were able to find my best friend's murderer who was in another state. After two years of looking, y'all were able to track his ass down and bring him back to Ohio and have him arrested for over 21 years. But yet, you guys can't track down some random dude's fucking phone number and say something to these fucks. I don't get it. When y'all gonna do your fucking job and stop being a bunch of lazy fuckbags, huh? When are y'all gonna stop being lazy and start doing your goddamn job? I mean... 
You guys are supposed to be the best in Ohio. You guys are supposed to be the police department that doesn't let any crime go untouched. Right? Wrong. You guys sit there and you let it happen to motherfuckers like me. You let the internet shit go unnoticed. When the internet shit is the realest fucking crimes that are going on. People have died because of these people that are attacking me. People have taken their own lives because of these people. But yet, you guys do nothing. In the past year and a half, five different people have taken their own lives because of these fucking assholes. But yet, you choose to do nothing. I know it's pretty fucking sad that I have to live my life the way that I live it now because y'all don't want to do your fucking job at track these motherfuckers down. I mean, how many more people have to take their own lives before y'all stop being lazy and actually do something? Mm. How many people have to be fucking killed? How many people have to commit suicide before y'all wake the fuck up and realize Oh shit, this internet stuff does really affect real crime, real life. When are y'all gonna fucking wake up? People have actually died because of these motherfuckers, but yet, you don't want to do shit about it. You'd rather... Pass it off to the FBI when y'all are the ones that have connections to the FBI. Seriously. All it takes is y'all going on to YouTube, finding these motherfuckers' YouTube channels, and tracking that YouTube channel's IP address. You guys have a cyber crimes unit for a fucking reason. But yet, you don't fucking use it. Why? Maybe if you guys would start fucking utilizing it like you should be. Maybe a lot of this internet crime that you're trying to prevent will stop. But yet, you don't want to do it. You'd rather sit around on your fucking phones all goddamn day with your thumbs up your asses. That's all you'd rather do. You think this internet shit's a joke, but it ain't. It's real fuck. It's just as real as some dude breaking into an old lady's car. Some random kid breaking into another dude's house. This shit is just as real as somebody murdering somebody. It is a proven fucking fact that the shit that these people do on the internet can affect your real life. And it has affected my life, my friends' lives. It sure as hell has affected my family's lives. But yet, y'all don't want to do anything. Y'all want to treat it like it ain't shit. When really, it's just as real as y'all doing a drug bust. It's just as real as somebody getting pulled over. This shit is just as real as somebody getting shot in the streets. By some fucking gangster thug who thinks he's a badass.
And y'all wonder why suicide rates go up almost daily and why they've been climbing since fucking COVID happened? There's a reason. It's because motherfuckers on the internet want to play Billy Badass and when a content creator doesn't do what they want, they try to cancel that person. They try to have that person swatted. They try to do anything they can to have that person outed. Whether it's affecting their family, whether it's their job, whatever it, whatever it is. They're going to do whatever they got to do to fucking go after that person to shut them down. All because that content creator isn't doing what the fuck everyone else wants them to do. Because that content creator wants to be creative and do their shit the way they want to fucking do it. And you think that this shit don't affect real life? Oh, trust me, it does. It really fucking does. Like I said, how many fucking people have to die before you stop being lazy and get off your fucking asses and actually fucking do something, huh? How many people have to take their own lives before you stop being a bunch of lazy ass pigs and actually do something? Stop being a bunch of lazy ass fuckbags and actually fucking do something about this shit. You know it's funny. Y'all sit there and sit around and wonder why people become shooters here in Akron. Why people become, why half the people that are murderers. There's a reason. It's because motherfuckers either push them too far or something happened that y'all failed it fucking doing. See, when y'all fail to do your job, and the court system fails, and the legal system fucking fails, that's when regular motherfuckers take the law into their own hands. When y'all fail at doing your job, that's when the local people, your citizens, take the law into their own hands. And what does that result in? Motherfuckers being murdered. And then when somebody gets fucking murdered, that's when y'all want to take it serious. But yet, you don't want to do anything to try to prevent the shit from the beginning. You'd rather sit there and let somebody be fucking murdered and then do something. Now, I'm not going to sit there and say all the Akron police are bad guys because I have some friends that are on the police force that have been security guards from my old high school that I'm good friends with. That actually do try to do shit. But as for the rest of y'all, man, y'all need a fucking wake-up call. For real. Y'all need a goddamn wake-up call, dude. You know, it's fucking sad. When one of your own citizens can't even walk around town without having to have some sort of fucking protection on their body and somebody with them at all times. That's pretty fucking sad. Half the time I feel like I have to have a goddamn security guard around me at all fucking times and I shouldn't have to have that
To be honest, I'm a regular dude just like anyone else, trying to make a living from his life. Trying to live his life. Trying to make a living doing what a motherfucker does. But yet, I'm not allowed to do that because y'all don't want to do your motherfucking job. I have made over 50 different fucking reports to you motherfuckers. And 30 plus to the goddamn FBI office downtown. In the last two years. But yet, y'all don't want to do anything except fucking label me as mentally unstable when I'm not. It's just I'm sick and tired of y'all motherfuckers not doing anything about these people that are literally trying to have me arrested and are making up fucking bullshit about me to get me arrested and are attacking my family, harassing me. Matter of fact, let me show you one of their forms of harassment here. Actually, I'll show you a couple. See, all of these... All of these are fucking harassment calls. And this is just the beginning. This shit goes on for days. Right here, another form of harassment. Right here, another form of harassment. And these kinds of text messages go on for days. And days, and days. Right here, another fucking text. And that's not even including the fucking videos that get posted about me all over social media and on YouTube and shit. That ain't even including the harassing messages that I get on fucking Xbox all the goddamn time. So you tell me, who's the crazy one now, fuckers? Sure as fuck ain't me.
As a matter of fact, right here is a fucking photo that somebody made of me. So tell me, am I crazy now, motherfuckers? I don't think so. I'm not so crazy now, am I, motherfuckers? Go ahead, call me crazy. Because we all know I'm not. I just showed several forms of proof of me being harassed by people like William Glory Hall. Music Biz Marty and all their little fucking friends. So all I have to say to y'all is this. Either do something about this shit or the Akron PD is going to have a fucking lawsuit on their goddamn hands. And I don't think y'all want that. Because that will look bad on y'all in the long run. And you know it. So either y'all do something about this shit or you're going to have a lawsuit. Good morning, everyone. Uh, for those of you that... I'm just going to get this out of the way now. For those of you that do follow my music, I did just drop a brand new track on my SoundCloud. Which I currently have pulled up in FL Studios because I added a little bit more to it before I posted it. But that's not why I'm here this morning. This morning I'm here to address a little punk bully on the YouTube by the name of Crack Rack who thinks it's funny to go around bullying people like myself. And Jessica Yanev and a few other people. Now, Crack Jack, you think just because you have one point, one point, or 17.8k subs, you think that just because you have that kind of subs, you think that gives you the right to fuck with people, bro? It don't give you that right, homie. And just for the record, I'm not your little fucking low cow, you dumb fuck. If anybody is the wall cow here, it's your dumbass. Cause see, while I'm out here making fucking music, actually doing something with my life, somebody who can actually rap, someone who can actually play guitar and piano and actually create good music, what are you doing, you dumb fuck little twerk? Running your mouth like a bitch? And George Bush, who's going to make me? You? I don't think so. So why don't you sit down and be quiet, you dumbass? See, the thing about you, Crack Rack, I watched a number of your videos. Okay? Your video on me got brought to my attention just a couple days ago. And I started going through them over the last few days. And the first one I watched, obviously, was on me. 
But then I started watching all your other videos on everybody else. See, what you failed to realize, bro, is that I've done more in one fucking year than you've done in your whole fucking life, bro. See, in two months, I hit a thousand subs, which actually is a YouTube world record, okay? I broke the record for getting the most subs in the shortest amount of time. What have you done? Ran your mouth like a pussy? I actually was signed to a legendary fucking record label before I decided to depart on my own terms. What did you fucking do? What have you done with your failure of a life, huh? Let's see. Poke fun at motherfuckers. Uh, bully people. Attack people. Uh, bully more people. Like, literally, dude, all your fucking videos are of you bullying motherfuckers, bro. That's all they are. All your videos are of you bullying motherfuckers. But you didn't think that someone like me would fire back, did you, punk? That's all you are, bro. You're a punk ass. You're a pussy. A bitch-made coward who hides behind his fucking screen all goddamn day. Talking shit and bullying motherfuckers. Because you ain't got the balls to do anything with your life except run your fucking mouth. That's all you fucking do, bro. You run your mouth like a fucking bitch. That's all you fucking do, man. I ain't your goddamn low cow. I'm a fucking music artist, bro. I've been doing music longer than your dumb ass has been alive, kid. I've been doing music since 2009. What have you been doing? I'm good friends with a major artist, Postcard, aka TFE, who happens to be a good friend of mine that I actually went to high school with. Don't believe me? Check my original Chance Wilkins Facebook. You'll see it for yourself. Matter of fact, you can even check my current one too while you're at it. So, while you're running around like a punk ass, while you're running around like a punk ass bitch, bullying motherfuckers, you know what I'm doing? Out here making bangers. Like this. So while you're sitting there behind your shitty little fucking computer screen. While you're sitting there running your fucking mouth bullying motherfuckers behind your shitty little fucking two dollar computer screen. Which I'm pretty sure your mommy and daddy gave you. I'm actually doing shit. I'm actually putting together a fucking album. I'm actually doing something. So if I were you, bro, I'd shut my fucking mouth. Because, yeah, you may be a bigger channel. That may be true. But, dude, I got more pull and more power than you do. Ask anybody that knows me. I have a lot more pull and power on this platform than you could ever hope to have, boy. And you fucking know it. Ask anybody that will tell you, bro. Anybody that will fucking tell you. That knows me. I have way more pull on this platform than you do. Just because you're a bigger channel don't mean shit. 
Just cause you're a bigger channel don't mean you got shit. Dude, I'm a smaller channel than you, and I do bigger numbers than you do. I've pulled more views in one week than you could in an entire month, bro. Your sub count don't mean shit. Your sub count is a fucking joke. Okay? Hell, I'm willing to bet that you bought half your fucking subs, dog. I'm willing to bet you that you bought half your fucking subscribers. Either that or you made multiple accounts and subbed to yourself. Because of the fact that no one likes your shit. No one fucking likes a pussy ass Bowie, bro. When I hit that thousand sub mark a few months ago, I earned every single subscriber that I got. I actually went out and fucking worked my ass off. I didn't sit there and buy the fucking subs. I didn't sit there and buy my way in. I earned every single sub that I got when I beat that record. When I set that record, bro, I earned every single subscriber. I actually put work into my shit. I don't sit there and run my fucking mouth and buy subs just because I want to feel like a badass. Really, bro, all you are is a loser-ass fucking pussy coward that doesn't have a fucking life. And you think you know me, bro? You don't know shit about me. Maybe instead of attacking motherfuckers, try talking to them first. Instead of going after my fucking ass, why don't you fucking talk to me? Maybe then you'll actually see what I'm really about. And that's what pisses me off about motherfuckers like you and these little trolls that are in my chat right now. None of you motherfuckers want to sit down and actually get to know me as a person. You'd rather fucking sit there and judge me based on what you see on the fucking internet. That's all you want to do. You want to judge me based on what you see on the internet instead of actually getting to know me as a fucking person. Maybe if you cut your fucking ego down and you actually set your pride aside for five fucking seconds and actually open up and actually talk to me as a human fucking being and not sit there and attack me. Maybe if you actually, you know, sit down and hit me up and be like, yo, I don't know who you are really. This is what I heard about you, but I want to get to know you as a person so I can get the real fucking story. Maybe if you would actually sit down and get to know me as a fucking person instead of judging me right off the fucking bat. You might actually get to know me as a person and see that I'm not this terrible fucking piece of shit or this joke that everyone tries to make me out to be, man. And that's the issue with motherfuckers like you and little pussies like you. George Bush, or you, Kathy, little motherfuckers like you that think that you know me when you don't. Maybe if you stop judging me for five seconds and actually reach out and fucking talk to me as a human fucking being and not attack me right off rip, you might see that I'm actually a pretty chill dude. You might see that I'm actually a nice guy. But instead, you would rather judge me Based off what some dumb fuck like, like William Glory Fag has to say. Same with you, Reese's. Instead of judging me, why don't you get to know me? And here's the thing, Mr. Metal Skull. I'm not a fucking pedo, and I already proved that. The police came out here and proved that. I don't need to continue to prove myself to your ass. Maybe if you actually sit down and fucking talk to me instead of judging me, dog, 
you might actually get the real fucking story. Because everyone else on the internet has that shit fucking backwards. They weren't there. They don't know what happened. They were not part of that shit. And yes, the fuck I did, Nicholas D. You weren't fucking there, bro. So you got no room to talk. You weren't there for that fucking incident, dog. You weren't there, so you don't know what happened. All you're hearing is what everyone else is saying. That's all you're doing. You're going off of some bullshit that that fucking pedo deadbeat of a mother masshole was saying. You don't know what really fucking happened. You weren't there. You were not there when that shit went down. So you don't fucking know the real truth. But I fucking do, because guess what? I'm the one that fucking went through this shit, dog. So instead of running your pussy ass fucking mouth, bro, why don't you sit down and shut your puppy dog ass up, bro? Shut your little yipping dog bitch ass up. Because unless you know the real motherfucking story, you got shit. You got garbage. You ain't got nothing. See, I know the real fucking truth. I know what happened because I went through this shit. But because I'm the weird looking motherfucker, you feel like you have that right to judgment based on somebody else's opinion or somebody else's view. You don't want to get both sides of the story. You would rather listen to one person's side and not be fucking smart and hear both sides and then make a judgment call, bro. Oh, really, George? Oh, really? I- I'm a pussy. You're the one sitting there talking shit in the chat and I'm a pussy, bro? <laughs> Dog, you couldn't even get any pussy, bro. I get more pussy in a week than you do in a whole month. Okay? So shit your fucking puppy dog ass up. But see, the problem with you dumb fuck trolls is this one very simple thing. Especially when it comes to me. Alright? None of you motherfuckers want to hear both sides of the story. You want to hear one side of but maybe if you shut your mouth and actually get both sides of the story and talk to both parties and then make a judgment call based on what you've heard from both sides, maybe then you'll actually get the bigger fucking picture. Maybe then you'll actually get the full fucking story. But instead, you want to sit there and make me out to be something I'm not. All based on what some deadbeat mother who, by the way, has a record of doing fucked up shit, who also has had her kids taken away because of shit like this, who is actually a known pedophile. Somebody who is actually a known pedophile. You're gonna leave some pussy ass bitch pedo deadbeat mom over somebody like me who's telling you the goddamn truth? You ain't tell you, bro, I am telling you the motherfucking truth. I ain't no goddamn pedo, bro. I don't know who the fuck y'all been talking to, but they're full of fucking shit, dude. They're full of motherfucking shit, dog. And I'm tired of being called shit that I'm not. So y'all need to quit that bullshit with the pedo crap. You need to get the fuck over it and shut the fuck up. Before somebody like me one of these days comes along and shut your goddamn mouth for you. Cause bro, I'm tired of being called something that I'm not. Alright? I'm sick of the bullshit. Y'all need to grow up and quit with the fucking pedo garbage. It's stupid, it's ignorant, and it's irrelevant to what I'm doing now. Like for real, dog. Maybe if you would shut your fucking goddamn mouth for five fucking seconds and actually fucking talk to me instead of judging me like a bitch. Maybe if you'd stop judging me like a fucking pussy that you are. 
you actually might get to know me and see that I'm not the bad guy that everyone's fucking making me out to be, bro. I'm sick of it, man. Here's the thing, triple zero. If I didn't grow up, why the fuck am I making music and getting my shit back up to where it was, homeboy? If I wasn't grown up, if I wasn't being a man, then why am I busting my ass on my music trying to get back to where my shit was a couple years ago back when I was making money? Back when I actually had a fucking job making money before you dumb fuck assholes came in and fucked all that up, huh? A real man handles his fucking business. A real man stands up for people like what that crack rat dude, who that crack rat dude is attacking. A real man handles his fucking business and does what he needs to do. A real man don't let something like y'all punk ass motherfuckers get in the way. A real man handles his fucking business and that's what I'm doing, bro. I'm handling my business. I'm getting shit back to where it was a couple years ago, back when I was making money, before you fucking retards came in and fucked all that up. So who's the man now, you pussy ass lip dick motherfucker? I mean, you want to talk about not having a job? Look at you, bro. Look at you, man. You probably ain't even got a fucking job, dude. The only job you probably have is sitting on your fucking ass all day like a deadbeat little bitch. I bet all you do is sit on the internet and jerk off the kitty porn while you eat Tostitos all fucking day. And then you wait for me to get on just so you can talk shit. That's all you fucking do, bro. You sit on the internet and talk shit like a fucking coward. While I'm out here actually doing shit. And no, I ain't projecting. I'm being fucking real, bro. See, I'm a real motherfucker. I don't fucking hide shit. I don't fucking sit there and project like your dumbass does. See, you say I'm projecting and you know what that tells me? That you're caught. You're pissed off and you're triggered. That's what that tells me. That you're pissed off and you're fucking triggered. You're triggered at the fact that I've got you fucking pegged for the piece of shit that you are, bro. And the same thing goes for the rest of you fucking retard trolls, man. Like, bro, I've actually invested money into my craft. I've actually invested several hundred dollars into my fucking craft. I bought my own MIDI keyboard. My own fucking camera with tripod, which by the way is a very expensive camera. Alright, it's like a thousand dollar camera. Okay? I actually bought my own drum pad. I actually bought FL Studios. I actually went out of my way and then invested money into my shit. So, how am I not being a man? A real man invests in his career. A real man invests in what he wants to do with his life. And that's what I did. I invested in my fucking craft. I invested in what I'm fucking doing. And every chance I get when it comes to my artwork and the shit that I do, guess what? I invest in that too. I invest into the shit that I am trying to fucking get back up to where I can make money again. Because believe it or not, a couple years ago before y'all dumb fucks came in and decided to target me, I was actually making fucking money. I was doing good. I had several streams of income. Off my music alone, I had several streams of income. And that little $5 and so on cents, that was just one of my streams. That was only one of my streams of income. I had several fucking others from Amazon, Google Play, Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Napster. I had several streams of income. I was actually doing good. 
until you fucking retards came in and fucked all that up and put it at a fucking hole. Which is what I'm trying to get back to doing to where I can start making that money again. Y'all just don't want to see it happen. That's all it is. You don't want to see a weird looking motherfucker like me actually be great and actually best you dumb fucking fools. See, I actually am business smart. See, while most of you dumb fucks have one stream of income, I invest in several streams of income. For my music, I have several streams of income. For my artwork, I'm working, I'm re, I say reworking on a stream of income for that. So I'm not as dumb as y'all fucking think I am. I'm actually really fucking smart. I actually know what the fuck I'm doing. And maybe if you dumb fuck chumps would sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up, you might actually see that I'm actually a lot smarter than people take me for. I'm not as dumb as you fucking think I am, bro. I'm actually not as dumb as you think. I'm actually quite smart when it comes to finding ways of making money. I'm actually very clever with that shit. I'm actually a lot smarter than you think. But what pisses me off is this. Y'all motherfuckers sit there. You say that you want to make money, right? Well, what I find fucked up is the minute I start making money off of my music or my artwork, or even getting paid sponsors. What do you guys do? You come in and try to take that shit away from me. Like you don't want me to make money. Well, which is it motherfuckers? Do you want me to make money? Or do you not want me to make money? Take your fucking pick. You say you want me to make money? Then shut the fuck up. And let me do what I need to do to make that fucking money, you dumbass fuckbags. See, the problem with y'all is you want to work a regular job like you. Well, I'm sorry that I wasn't made for a regular job, okay? I'm sorry that I don't have that fucking luxury. I'm not like you. Believe me, I would love to work a regular job, but I don't have that luxury Thanks to mass whole reports and the bullshit that she fucking pulled. Because of her, everyone in town fucking hates my guts damn near. Well, not everyone, but most of them. Most places now don't want to hire me because of her. So I have to make do with what the fuck I got. I literally have to make do with what I got. So maybe if you fucking bunch of fucking reject little pussies would shut the fuck up and quit being a fucking dumbass and talking your fucking shit and let me do what I need to do. Let me do what I need to fucking do to get my artwork out there, to get my music out there. I might actually be successful. And Barack or whoever, that's where you're wrong, dog. That right there is where you're wrong. You say it doesn't have much potential, but that's where you're wrong. That is where you're very wrong. And maybe if you guys would shut your fucking mouth and quit picking on me, I might have a shot. I'm not your fucking low cow, motherfuckers. I'm not your goddamn comedian. And to be honest, I never wanted to be a comedian. Those times I did that comedic shit, that was just a fuck with you guys. That was just to piss you off and get under your skin. What I don't get is why the fuck do you feel like you have to fucking target me, huh? Why do you feel like you gotta bully me, huh? I don't fucking get it. I ain't do shit to any of you dumb fucks. 
So why you gotta fucking come after me when you don't fucking know me? You don't fucking know who I am. What's the generic fucking comment, women? Yes, you are. No, the fuck I'm not, bitch. So shit your fucking ass down, don't fuck with a crackhead. That's all you are, man. You're a fucking crackhead. A wannabe tough guy. I ain't your goddamn content. I ain't your goddamn wall cow, motherfucker. See, two years ago, before you bunch of fucking retards came in and started fucking with me for no reason, I had a life. Oh, hey. I actually had an art channel that I was doing very well with. I was actually making good sales on. Because I was going through a site called RageOn.com before somebody decided to go in and fuck it all up to where they took down people's store fronts and shit. So it wasn't just me that suffered. A lot of people on RageOn lost their storefronts because some dude coming in and doing some fuck shit. But back a couple years ago, I was actually doing good for myself. What I don't understand is why the fuck you feel like you have to come in and fuck shit up, huh? Why you feel like you gotta fuck my life up? And actually, yes I did, Tristan. So sit your fucking faggot ass down, dog. Sit your punk ass down, broski. Cause you ain't shit. You just want a shit start. You want a shit talk. That's all you are. You're a shit talking little fag boy who probably sucks on his daddy's fucking dick for lunch all day. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if you drink your daddy's cum all day, bro. Wouldn't surprise me. We all know you like that D in the mouth, bro. That's why you suck your daddy and your brother's dicks all fucking day long, homie. That's all you do. You suck their dicks all fucking day. Because you're a shit-talking little pussy boy dick sucker. That's all you are, bro. You're a fucking dick sucker. And I ain't no puppet, Bill Fag Boy. I ain't no goddamn puppet, homie. You best believe I ain't no goddamn puppet, bro. I ain't your goddamn show and tell. I ain't your show and tell, I ain't your fucking puppet, and I sure as fuck ain't your goddamn wall cow, motherfuckers. See, y'all motherfuckers have the mentality of a fucking robot. You have the mentality of a goddamn sheep, bro. You have the mentality of a fucking parrot, bro. Seriously, man, you guys got the fucking mentality of a goddamn parrot. You parrot each other. Oh, this dude over here, he, he's this, he's that, so we all gotta attack this guy. Or, oh, this guy looks weird, so we gotta attack him too. Oh, this person over here did something, made a mistake, we gotta attack them. Oh, this person said this about this person, so it must be true. This person got a thousand plus subs, so it must be true, right? Nah, motherfucker. It ain't. Oh, and to crack rack, just to prove to you that I can actually spit, motherfucker, here's one for ya. <laughs> and all I got to say to those punk asses that want to come do something to me, you know what I say? Bring it, bitch. Fucking bring it. Motherfucking bring it, bitch. Fucking bring whatever you fucking got, because chances are you're going to fucking fail. 
And let me tell you, Billy Bob Thornton Clinton, bitch. I fear nobody. I don't fear you. I don't fear any of your little friends. Matter of fact, I'm going to make an example out of you for all the other trolls. If you guys are here to troll me, this is what happens. You get fucking blocked. Now, would anybody else like to try to fucking troll me? Because I'll make an example out of all you motherfuckers. I will make an example out of all of you. I have zero problem with that. Am I a pussy? I don't think so. Like I said, I have zero issue blocking every one of you motherfuckers. Every one of you. If you don't quit your troll shit, you're gonna get fucking blocked. Every one of you is gonna get fucking blocked if you don't fucking stop. So all y'all trolls can kick fucking rocks. All you fucking trolls can kick fucking rocks. Oh, really? Bye bye. Bill Clinton does get blocked. Bye bye. Adios, pussy. Fucking troll ass. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're blocking motherfuckers. You're a pussy. No. It's just the fact that I'm trying to clean up my fucking shit. I'm trying to clean up my channel to where I can be successful and bring in a proper fucking crowd. I ain't here to fuck around. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to end this stream on here. I'm going to go over to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to start up a stream and hang out. So, hope you guys have fun getting blocked after I go over there. So, go ahead and show up. See if you don't get blocked. Peace. One second, guys. Um, I know some of y'all are gonna watch this. Some on Facebook. Some of y'all are gonna watch some on Twitter. And some of y'all are gonna restream to y'all's YouTube's. But that's okay. But Marty, I'm gonna flat out tell you right now, bro. You and all your little troll friends, you need to back off. Cause I know what y'all are trying to do. Y'all are trying to give it and come back to YouTube and that's not what I want. I'm happy with having my life back where it was. Well, yes, I may have left my now ex-girlfriend due to the fact that she was lying to me a lot. You know, despite that, I'm still in a good place. I got good friends, good family. You know. I got an amazing job doing something that I love to do. Like, I have no intentions on going back to YouTube, ever. I am not going back, period, flat out. I like my normal life where it's at. And Marty, if you think that you revealing my intangent calls is going to make me come back, you're mistaken. 
Cause like I said, I'm not coming back. As a matter of fact, starting tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be getting rid of all the music programs on my laptop, and I'm gonna be cleaning it, restarting it, and I'm gonna be starting up all my artwork full time. Because in the last two years, I've been super depressed because of everything that's been going on. Like y'all trolls have put me in a super depressive spot to where I haven't felt like doing anything for the last two years. And to be honest with you, I've been wanting to do stuff. It's just I've been so afraid to do my shit because I know every time, every time I start to put my shit out there, y'all are gonna try to find a way to mess it up and make it hard for me. Like I'm an artist. That's what I was born doing is artwork and. That's what I want to give back to. I want to be able to make my dreams of being a full-time artist, doing what I want to do, a reality. And in order to do that, I need to do like I've been doing and stay away from YouTube because YouTube is a cesspool of just negative bullshit that I want nothing to do with. And Marty, I don't know what you think you're gaining from doing all that shit you're doing, but I really don't care what you say. Yes, I saw that you posted a video, and now you're back. Do I care? No. I have not watched it. So fucking what if you did this, did that? Nobody gives a fuck. Or at least I don't. Like, you're starving for views. Thinking that I'm gonna come back, and I'm not, bro. You're so hungry for content and views that you'll do anything you can to get it and I'm gonna tell you like I told those dumb fucks of the Envy Drift Mafia when they tried picking up fight with my team just like them you're looking for a fight to pick You're looking to start a fight, and you're not going to find it here. You're not going to pick a fight with me because I'm not going to respond to you. I don't care what you say, what you do. I don't care. The people that know me, that love and support me, regardless of what you say, they're the ones that have got my backs. People like my brother Adam. People like Crip K. People like Charity. People like my best friend from high school, Sammy. Shout out to Sammy, by the way. What up, Sam? You know, people like my best friend and brother, Jake. You know, people like that are the kind of people that I need around me. Not depressing, egotistical morons like you, Marty, that think that you can just come in and start shit whenever the hell you want. Because like I said, you're looking for a fight. And you're not going to find it here. I'm not out to fight anyone. I'm really not. I'm not out to fight anybody. 
Well, yes, I've done a lot of thinking over the last few days, and it's true I have. Since I left YouTube, I've been doing a lot of thinking about a lot of different stuff. And yes, I've recorded a song or two in the studio, but honestly, those songs aren't probably going to get released. The ones I've done on live, I don't know if I'm going to release those or not, but... At the end of the day, man, all this trolling that's gone on has made me afraid to do my artwork again. And honestly, y'all don't know how bad I want to get back into it. Y'all have no idea how badly I want to do my artwork again. Because like I said, Marty, and I've told the trolls this too. Before you came along, when I started your crap, I was building a good name for myself. I was doing very, very well. I was building a good name for myself. Despite what Candle did, I was building a good name for myself in the art community. I was getting my music up and running. But y'all took all that away. Just so you can make me into some fucking wall cow. And yes, to some of you, I might be a wall cow, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, you trolls are just fooling yourselves. Because in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of things, no one really cares what you trolls think. Nobody cares. And that's why after the 8th of next month, and that's going to be my final album for a while. Now, whether I make money off it or not, I don't care. If it makes money, good. If not, hey, that's cool. But I honestly want to follow what I've always wanted to do, which is do creepy, weird artwork for people and get commissioned to turn their artwork into dark artistry. But to be honest, because everything you trolls have done, I've been just so fucking depressed that it's a struggle for me to even get up out of bed in the morning. I mean, do I have a happy life? Yes. A very happy life. But that still doesn't mean that deep down I'm not depressed and hurt by what y'all did. Because I am. It's depressing, right? And that's why I'm telling y'all right now. Y'all trolls just need to stop. Marty, you especially need to stop. I'm not on YouTube anymore. So leave me alone. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Now that being said, I'm gonna lay down, watch a movie, and do something, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.
Hello, everyone. But all I'm going to say is that this video isn't going to be very fucking long. So I'm going to make it plain and fucking simple. That as of this moment, as of today, as much as I don't want to, but because these little fucking trolls want to fucking micromanage me and hold me back from shit I want to do with my life, I am officially retiring from music and focusing on my career as a fucking athlete. Because I am sick and tired of being micromanaged. You dumb motherfuckers think you can come in and micromanage me. Well, fuck you. I'm not your goddamn low cow. I'm not your fucking whatever. I'm not who you fucking think I am. I'm not your goddamn low cow. I'm not here for you to fucking laugh at. Okay, I started my music to make a living. But since you punk ass little bitches want to sit there and micromanage every little fucking move I fucking make, then fine. Have your fucking way. I'll retire from music. But I am going to make it in the world as a fucking athlete. Because I'm tired of being held back by you dumb motherfuckers that want to fuck with my life. You want to sit there and talk shit and ruin my life. And hey, Tommy, go fuck yourself, you little fucking bitch. Go fuck yourself. Here's the thing, I know how to play a fucking instrument, okay? I know how to play guitar, I know how to play piano, the ocarina, harmonica. Take your fucking pick. Take your goddamn pick out of all four. It might not be up to your standards, but so fucking what? That doesn't mean you gotta sit there and micromanage me, motherfuckers. You ain't my mama, you ain't my daddy, and you sure as fuck ain't my goddamn manager. You don't control what I fucking do. But since you want to think you do, then fine. Have it your way, motherfuckers. Have it your way. Besides... I'd rather be behind the wheel and making money doing what I love and working my way up to making money behind the wheel than to sit there and be micromanaged by you little fucking pussies. Which means as soon as this stream is over, I will be deleting my channel and I will be starting a brand new one strictly for racing, strictly for competitiveness, strictly for being an athlete. Because I am tired of being held back by you little pussies who think you can waltz in and run my life. Well, fuck you. My life ain't yours to run. It's mine. And I'll be damned if I sit there and let anybody fuck me over ever again. You may have bullied me out to a music, but there's one thing you'll never fucking do. And that's take my skill behind the wheel away from me. You might be able to micromanage my music and steal my songs and post them up wherever. But the one thing you'll never be able to do 
Let's take away a win from me behind the wheel. Whether it's in real life go karting or sim racing, come hell or high water, I'm fucking making it. I don't give a fuck what any of you say. I'm doing what I should have done last year. I'm staying focused. Come hell or high water, I'm gonna make it in a sport. One way or another, whatever sport that may be, I don't know. But lo and behold, I'm not gonna let any of you little chumps fucking stop me. I'm doing this for my brother who got me into racing. I'm doing this for my friends that were in the car community that passed away many years ago. I'm doing this for my friends, but most importantly, I'm doing this for my family and for myself. And I'm not going to let any one of you dumb fucks get in my way ever again. You micromanaging me is done. Over. Benito, out the door, sayonara, kiss my ass, bitch. I'm not going to sit here and be micromanaged by you little fucking jackass pussies that do nothing but sit me on the computer and jerk off all day. You say you have a life, but we all know you trolls ain't got shit. You know you ain't got shit. You say you have a life? No, you don't. You say you have a word. You say you have a job? No, the fuck you don't. All you trolls do is sit on the computer all day, wait for me to go live, just so you can run your mouth like a little bitch. That's all you do. You sit around like a little bitch, waiting for me to get on, just so you can shit talk. Just so you can attack me. Like I said, after this stream is done, I'm deleting my channel for my music. I'm putting all my music gear up for good. And I'm jumping back where I should have been the whole time. Behind the fucking wheel. Practicing. Getting better. Winning races, doing what I love. Because let me tell you, I'm not going to be micromanaged by you pussies any fucking more. You may have did that to me last year, but not this time, motherfuckers. Not this time. I'm done being micromanaged by all of you limp dick little motherfuckers that think they have a right to control someone's life. I'm not your little fucking video game character. I'm not your little low cow. I'm not your little puppet. I'm my own goddamn person. I am me, myself. I control me, not you. And what I'm doing is gonna be permanent. I'm not coming back to music ever again. I'm getting behind that goddamn wheel. And I'm doing what I should have done a long fucking time ago. For myself, for my family, for my friends. But above all else, what I should have done for my older brother. What I should have done for my brother the whole time was stay behind that fucking wheel and bust my ass. And get better and better and better to where I can get paid to race. To where I can get paid. To do what I love. And if any of you have a fucking problem with that. Then you can kiss my fucking ass. Because I'm not going to sit here. And be berated. And belittled. By you dumb fucks anymore. It's my life. Not yours. Get over it.
If you don't like what I have to say or what I'm doing, oh fucking well. I don't give a shit. It's my life. Stay out of it. So to all you little trolls, fuck you. You guys can kiss my ass. Every one of you can kiss my motherfucking ass. And yeah, you're right, American Dream. I did call you out. Because you're an abusive little bitch. Don't like it? Too bad, motherfucker. You abusive little pussy. You're lucky I'm not there to beat your goddamn ass. You abusive little bitch. Like I said, as of this moment, as of right now, as soon as this stream ends, I'm deleting my channel, and I'm doing what I should have done all along, getting behind the fucking wheel, and training, and practicing, and the first video that's going up on my channel, as soon as I get everything set up, is my win that I'm going to take today on F1 2020. That's going to be the first video to go up. To show you guys that I'm serious. So like I said. Fuck you. I am not your goddamn puppet anymore. I'm breaking free from that shit. I am done being controlled. You're not going to do this to me anymore. You did it to me all last year, but not this year, motherfuckers. I'm breaking away from that shit. And if you don't like it, too fucking bad. You can kiss my ass. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Dilution. Or as some of you guys know me as Cyrax, or whatever you want to call me, it don't matter. Just don't call me late for dinner, motherfuckers. But we need to have a little chit-chat. Because since everybody wants to bring this shit up, I'm going to address everything from last year as a motherfucking whole and tell y'all how it really motherfucking is, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all how it is. Whether you like it or not, that's on you. But I'm speaking the goddamn truth. Cause I'm tired of fucking hiding this shit. I'm tired of the truth not being known about what's really going on. Alright? Last year, I got targeted by mass old reports. She claimed to be 18 years old by phone call then claimed to be 14 years old by text message after sending me a picture of an underage girl now after that shit went fucking down after all that shit fucking happened y'all motherfuckers kept poking prodding y'all threatened my family hell some of y'all even showed up to my motherfucking house ready to kill me. And y'all fucking wonder? Why, let me tell y'all. Yeah, I busted out my motherfucking rifle. I busted that shit out. But I busted that shit out to show y'all that I ain't afraid to defend my house. I ain't afraid to defend my family, bro. I mean, come on. Y'all showed up to my house wanting to kill me. 
Like, and y'all don't expect me to do something about it? Like, you show up to my house with the intent to kill and you don't expect me to bust out a goddamn rifle ready to protect my family, bro? Are you off your goddamn rocker out of your goddamn mind? Like, hey, that shit actually fucking happened. I actually had motherfuckers show up to my house wanting to fucking kill me. Three different times. And y'all wonder why the fuck I busted out my rifle on fucking live stream? Because I'm tired of motherfuckers attacking me. And not only did you guys proceed to do that. You guys proceeded to make a Kiwi Farms on not only me, but my fucking family, bro. My fucking family. You guys have taken and stolen my artwork and tried to resell it. You guys have stolen my music and tried to resell it. You guys have sat there and attacked me over and over yet I'm the liar. Really, the liars here are people like Shy Town, the little motherfuckers that work for Mass Old Reports, Music Bitch Face Marty, and William Glory Hole. Y'all motherfuckers are the ones that are liars, not me. I mean, hell, half you motherfuckers have sat there and repurposed some of Ryan Upchurch's videos and made it look like he's attacking me when really he wasn't. And yes, I saw the original videos they came from. And yes, he's being informed about this shit. I mean, y'all think I'm fucking dumb, bro. Y'all think I'm fucking stupid. But really, I'm not dumb at all. I know what the fuck you guys are trying to do. I know what the fuck you're about. So, Shy Town, you can sit your punk ass down and shut the fuck up. You whole ass bitch. You're a whole ass bitch, bro. You're a fucking scumbag, bro. You're scum. I mean, y'all sit here and attack me when I'm trying to mind my own business and do my thing. Work on my fucking music. And actually do something with my motherfucking life. Because in case y'all haven't noticed. I'm that motherfucker that makes music for people like myself. That have been in depressive states. That have gone through suicide. That get outcasted by the mainstream. I'm that motherfucker that reps the underground. I'm that motherfucker that speaks for the people that you guys label as fake. But really the fakes here are you guys. The ones like Shy Town, the ones like Negasonic. And y'all can sit there and say what you want. But the truth of the matter is, y'all are the motherfuckers that are the reason I ain't getting nowhere. You guys are at fault, not me. You guys targeted me. You guys targeted my family. You guys attacked my family. You guys came after my family. You attacked me. Tried to do all kinds of fucked up shit to fuck up my family. And fuck with me. And yet, y'all motherfuckers wonder why I busted out that rifle on stream. You guys always wonder why I'm not getting nowhere. Well, guess what? You retards are the reason why, man. You motherfucking trolls are the reason I'm not getting nowhere. Because every time I get somewhere, every fucking time, every time, I start to make a little bit of money. You guys come in, steal my shit, shut me down, attack me, proceed to bully me. And for what reason, bro? What reason do you have to target me in the first place? I ain't done shit to any of you motherfuckers. Yeah, that Negasonic guy is really William Glory Hole. That Negasonic dude is really William Glory Hole.
Like, you can go back in the comments from uh, past streams and you can actually see that that's actually a glory hole. So, I mean, like, what gets me, though, man, is why y'all feel like you have to target me. Like, what did I ever do to any of you motherfuckers to make you want to target me? Like, what made y'all motherfuckers want to target my ass right from the jump? Because last I checked, I ain't do nothing to nobody, man. Last time I checked, I was focused on my music. I was doing my thing. But then y'all had to target me. Put my shit on Kiwi Farms. You guys tried to extort me. You guys tried to do extortion on my ass. You guys have taken private videos between me and my exes. Stole those. Posted those up on several adult websites, which I've had to get them removed many times over. You guys have tried to defame me, belittle me. You guys have tried to commit fraud on me. You guys have actually stolen money out of my fucking shit. And yet, you guys wonder why I don't get nowhere, bro. You fucking trolls are the reason why. And you refuse to take responsibility for your motherfucking actions. And it's stupid, dog. Y'all need to take responsibility for your motherfucking actions. You guys are the reason why I ain't getting nowhere, dude. You guys, not me. You guys are a fault. You guys need to take responsibility for your motherfucking actions. Okay? I ain't done shit to none of you motherfuckers. For you to attack me, for you to target me, for you to come after my family sure as fuck ain't do nothing to you. My family ain't do nothing to y'all, so why y'all gotta go after them? They ain't do shit to you. So yeah, y'all don't need to be going after my motherfucking family, bro. Like I said in my live stream before the car meet yesterday. Like I said in that live stream. If you have a problem with me, take it up with me. Don't be going after my motherfucking family, bro. If you got a problem with me, take it up with me and we'll talk about it. That don't mean you gotta sit there and fucking target me, bro. Yes, I fell for a troll. But let me ask y'all something. Who's the real pedo here, man? Who's the real motherfucking pedophile? The dude that... Fell for somebody that claimed to be 18 and then 14 in a call? Or the person that did the trolling, that had the image of an underage child, that proceeded to pretend to be underage? Because the answer is pretty fucking clear, and the answer ain't me. Y'all are just gonna say that shit to piss me off. Here's the thing, bro. I ain't the fucking pedo. Alright, I don't go around going after little fucking kids like that. I don't do that shit. You know what I do all the fucking time, bro? You can ask Crip K, you can ask anybody that knows me, bro. I don't do that shit. You know what I do? I work on my motherfucking music all damn day. You can ask my family. You can ask my mom. You can ask anybody, bro. They'll tell you the same goddamn thing. I don't do that shit. I don't sit there and go after little motherfucking kids like y'all try to make it look like. I don't do that shit, bro. I, if I was doing that shit, my ass would be in jail a long time ago, bro. Because here's the thing, man. I don't have a record of it. I was never arrested for it. The cops that came out here even said I ain't one. So if the cops were saying I ain't a pedo, then I ain't a fucking pedo. Straight up. If the cops are telling me that I'm not one, then I'm not a freaking pedo, bro. Like, y'all need to grow the fuck up and get over that garbage, dog. Like, dude, mass reports sent the picture of the underage child, claimed to be underage. How do we know that she ain't got kitty porn on her fucking computer, bro? How do y'all know she ain't hiding fucking child porn on her fucking computer, bro? 
how many other people has she possibly done that shit to? Y'all need to think about that. How many people has she possibly done this to? How do we know that she ain't got child porn on her computer? I know I ain't got it on mine. You can check my shit. My shit ain't nothing but motherfucking music and other fucking assortments of images for my fucking artwork, for my music, fucking memes that I fucking downloaded. Like, that's all my shit's got. You can check my shit. You can check my motherfucking shit. You can check my motherfucking phone. You can check all my shit. I ain't got nothing on my shit. Like I said, the one that y'all should be actually going after, the one that y'all should be going after is people like Masshole Reports, who is actually a fucking child predator. And if she wasn't a child predator, if she wasn't a child predator, then what the fuck is she doing with a fucking picture of an underage kid on her fucking phone? Photoshopped or not, it don't matter. She had it on her computer. She had it on her phone. And she proceeded to send it out. Therefore, that makes her the pedophile, not me. So y'all can get the fuck off that bullshit. Now, to the motherfucker that sat there and posted up a shop with my artwork and my shit on it yesterday, which I did see that. Don't think I didn't see that after the car me, bro. I saw that shit. Let me tell you, dog. To the dude that did that shit, bro, I guarantee you, bro, that shit's fake as fuck. But what pisses me off, though, is that y'all continue to try to make me look like a bad guy. You sit there and you continue to try to make me look like a bad guy, bro. I mean, hell, you guys have stolen Ryan Upchurch's videos, repurposed them to make it look like he was attacking, you know, attacking me when he wasn't. You guys sat there and attacked him and made him look cool. You basically attacked me with his videos, making it look like he was coming at me when he wasn't. Those were all repurposed videos. The reason I know that, because all the videos that you guys have posted with that shit, I've already saw the original version of. I've seen the originals of those videos, and those ain't original. Those are all put together, bro. Those are all fake-ass reaction videos. And you guys are using it to attack me. Which, not gonna lie, those videos are probably the videos that are gonna get you the most views anyway because they have him on them. So those are probably gonna be your only videos that get the highest view counts. But I mean, for real though, man. Y'all trolls need to stop fucking with people's lives. Alright? Y'all need to stop fucking with people like me that are trying to do shit. That are actually trying to be successful. Yeah, I know. I'm the weird looking motherfucker. I get it. I look weird. I'm five foot three. I don't look like everybody else. So fucking what, bro? A weird motherfucker like me ain't allowed to make fucking music and actually get somewhere because I look different from y'all. Cause I'm that weird motherfucker that stands up for people like me. That gives people like me a motherfucking voice that speaks on real motherfucking shit. Like, suicide and depression? Like, if that's the reason that y'all don't fucking like me, well, I'm sorry. I ain't fucking changing for nobody, bro. I ain't a sellout like that. I am not a fucking sellout like that, bro. And actually, no, that ain't fair use, bro. When you use it in an attacking way, that ain't fair use. But, hey, y'all want to be stupid? Go ahead. Y'all want to be dumb and get fucking caught? That's y'all motherfuckers. Like, dude, just because 
I'm that weird motherfucker that stands out in the crowd. That don't give me the goddamn right to fucking go after me. Actually, no, I am five foot three, bro. Read in your mind, dog. I am five foot fucking three. Trust me, I checked. I am five three, dog. Matter of fact, the last time I went to the doctor was literally a couple weeks ago for my usual checkup to make sure everything's good. And dude, I stand five foot three. But bro, just because I'm that weird motherfucker that stands out, that don't mean that y'all gotta attack me. See, y'all don't live my life. For real, you don't live my fucking life. You don't deal with depression. You don't deal with motherfuckers putting you on the edge of suicide. You don't deal with motherfuckers looking at you weird. Because you're that weird looking motherfucker that stands out. Yes, I'm weird looking. I don't give a fuck. I'm proud to stand out. I'm proud to live the life that I live. Alright? I am fucking dead ass proud to be that motherfucker that talks about suicide. That talks about depression. That talks about being that weird motherfucker from the sticks. I'm proud to say that I'm that weird motherfucker that y'all go after. I'm proud to say that. You want to know why? Because at least I give people like me a motherfucking voice. I give people like myself a fucking voice. And if you don't like my shit, the answer is simple. It's called don't watch my shit. And if you don't like my music, it's called don't fucking listen to it. There's other shit for y'all to do than to sit there. Actually, there's way better shit for y'all to do than to just sit there and attack a motherfucker all day. Like, y'all got way better shit to do with your lives than to sit there and attack motherfuckers all day. I mean, unless you guys want to be lazy and go nowhere with your lives. I mean, that's on y'all, man. If y'all want to be lazy and do that shit, that's on you. But me, I'd rather get somewhere with my fucking music so I can give people like me a motherfucking voice, bro. I would rather give people like me a motherfucking voice. Because I ain't about that fucking bullshit, bro. And to be quite honest, y'all dumb shits need to leave the motherfucking past and the motherfucking past. Move the fuck on and grow the fuck up. Seriously, bro. Like, y'all need to grow the fuck up. Yes, I'm a weird looking motherfucker. Ask me if I care. Because I don't. Like... This face right here says I don't give a fuck what you think. But to be honest, I'm tired of this shit affecting my fucking life. I'm tired of this shit being brought back up and brought back up and brought back up. Just because y'all got shitty lives don't mean y'all got to make someone else feel like shit. I mean, I don't go around making your lives shit. I don't go after y'all. I don't sit there and attack you guys. I don't do that shit. Like, that ain't me, bro. I mean, I like to be around like-minded motherfuckers. I like to be around people like me that have been bullied, that have been attacked. That have a real motherfucking story to tell. I'm so sick of the way everybody always trying to lay me into a motherfucking grave. You wanna try to come with me? Go ahead, I guarantee you that I'll put a motherfucking heat. Put that shit to your motherfucking dumb. Call your ass a motherfucking comatose bitch ass wannabe fucking hoe though. So, go.
think for a minute that I'm never gonna fucking stop, never gonna stop till I get to the motherfucking top. So go ahead, try to knock me off. Guarantee that what I put at the motherfucking blade and I lay your ass in the motherfucking grave on the tombstone I'm gonna write. Yo, this bitch just got killed by someone like me. So there's that. So I said, all you little don't fuck motherfuckers that want to try to talk shit, you need to quit living in the fucking past. Because like I said in that last track, man, if you keep living in the motherfucking past, you know what's going to happen? You're going to dwell on it and dwell on it and dwell on it and dwell on it. And then you're going to get stuck and you're not going to be able to do anything with your lives. So like I said, while y'all are dwelling on the past, I'm living in the motherfucking future, bro. Because I ain't dwelling on the past. I don't dwell on that shit. So every one of you can go fuck yourselves. You say I'm a dumb fail, Shottown, but what are you really doing with your life, bro? Hey, Shottown, since you want to be the center of attention, since you want to be the center of attention so bad, let me ask you this, bro. What are you doing with your life that's so great, dog? What are you doing with your life that's so great? Because all I see is a dumb, stupid motherfucker that wants to run his mouth off fucking day behind a keyboard. That's all I fucking see. Because it's pretty clear to me that you ain't doing shit. So you can take your bullshit the fuck somewhere else. So all y'all trolls that want to run your mouth... Fuck you, man. Fuck all you trolls. Fuck you, dumb fucks that want to try to screw me over. And man, fuck living in the past, bro. Quit living in the fucking past. Catch up. Stop being left behind in the dust of the past. Catch the fuck up and actually do something good. Alright? And Shy Town, when you can get on the mic and best me, bro. When you can actually get up on the mic and rap a lyric and actually beat me at something, then we'll talk. But until then, bro, get the fuck out, you shit-talking little fuckbag. Because that's all you are. You're a shit-talker. But you know how the old saying goes, talk is cheap. And your talk is so fucking cheap that I can buy that shit for a fucking half of a goddamn penny, bro. Actually, no, I can buy that for like a year talk. I could probably go to Walmart's right now or the corner store and buy it for like a quarter of a penny, bro. Really easily. Like, I can go down to the corner store and buy your talk because your talk is so goddamn cheap, bro. Your talk is so fucking cheap that I, dude, a homeless guy could afford your talk. Like, your talk is so stupid and so cheap and so corny that it's like, bro, why are you even bothering? Like, your talk is fucking cheap, dude. Actions speak louder than words. And yes, I know my music's different, but you know what? I like my music to be different. I like my music to stand out. Because that's what sets me apart from everyone else. So y'all idiots can think what you want, do what you want. But I'm here to tell y'all, man, that I ain't gonna let you motherfuckers hold me back anymore. And trust and believe, everybody knows about what's really going on. And trust me, people have seen this shit. And y'all trolls, Your days are numbered. That's all I'm going to say is that you trolls, your days are fucking numbered. Y'all are going to get shut down here very, very soon. Because the reality of it is, you guys ain't doing shit. You guys are a bunch of bullies. You guys do all this fucked up shit to fuck up my life and what I'm doing. And just know that your day is coming. And very, very fucking fast. So if I were y'all, if y'all don't want to have your whole life fucked up, I would quit the fucking bullshit 
and I would step the fuck off because y'all ain't got no room to talk. So just trust and believe that I'm going somewhere with my life and you guys are going to get screwed if you don't back off. So I'm telling y'all this right now to help you guys and if I were y'all, I'd shut the fuck up and back off real quick. Just saying. And that ain't no threat. That's me speaking the motherfucking truth. That ain't no threat at all. That's me speaking the truth. That's me being real. Y'all trolls are fucked. For real. You guys are screwed. And by the way, welcome back, Bloody Kiki. What up, Bloody? Welcome back, man. Just thought I'd throw that out there in case y'all I know. The legendary homie of mine, Bloody Kiki's back. Shout out to Bloody. What's good, Bloody? I'll see you, brother. And trust me. Bloody Kiki knowing about this shit, you guys are fucked. And not only that, but with Ryan knowing about this shit, y'all are really fucked. So if I were you guys, I'd quit what I was doing. Because those two together, they can embarrass y'all really quick. And they're probably going to. They are probably going to embarrass you. Which, I'm going to sit back and laugh at. But, like I said, y'all want to be stupid? That's on you guys. I'm here to tell y'all right now, I catch anybody trying to steal my shit again. I'm fucking reporting your ass. And I'm having your shit shut the fuck down. Because I ain't going to be stolen from no motherfucking more. Alright? This is my year. This is my time to make it. And I ain't going to be held back by you fucking idiots that want to live in the past. Fuck you guys. Fuck the troll shit. And the hell with screwing me over. I'm taking what's mine, like it or not. I'm coming to take what is mine, and ain't nobody fucking stopping me, bro. I'll take doing what I deserve, I'll take what's rightfully mine, and I ain't being held back. So fuck you guys. I'm out, man. I got shit I gotta fucking do. But in the meantime, y'all trolls better be prepared, because you guys are fucked. Peace, fuckbags. <clears throat> Here we go again. Lame ass fucking Marty. Talking shit. Running his mouth like a bitch. Again. Bro. First off, Marty, you need to leave my family the fuck alone, bro. That's what you need to do, dude. First off, you need to leave my family the fuck alone. Quit calling them like you're doing. <clears throat> And second off, dude, I ain't begging for nobody's help, bro. I ain't begging for no motherfucking body's attention, their help, nothing, bro. You're the one begging for my attention. And let me tell you right now, bro, I'm actually currently working on a track with a major fucking legend. A major fucking legend is about to be featured on this fucking track that I'm working on right now. And this one can actually change my whole fucking career around for the better. And I'm not about to sit there and let some dumb motherfucker like you fuck that shit up, Marty. Because my mom's right, bro. You started all this shit. And if you don't believe me, take a listen to this. And I know you motherfuckers know who the hell this is. Matter of fact, you know what? I'll play his little bit of a verse for you. Now, if you don't recognize who that is, let me single out the vocals for you. 
dying bullets every day. Yeah, I'll be dying bullets every day. Cause people like Marty are so fucking lame that it's insane. They don't realize how dark this land is for the night till you get in the night till you throw. That's the way it's gonna go. Yeah, that's the way you're gonna go. Stupid hate in this home. Got rats on the beach killing shit. Y'all just mad cause you ain't feeling it. All right, I'll just spit in the venom and he's killing it. It's that nine and wretched. We are killing shit. Dying bullets every day. Yeah, I'll be dying bullets every day. Cause people like Marty are so fucking lame that it's insane. Cause when you go against me or him, it's like going against Ron and Rance. You let you put that sword right with the lead to taste the day. Now, if you don't know who Tech Nine is, let me show you. Oh really? And if I'm if I'm faking shit, if I'm faking shit, then why is that his voice? Why is this his voice on this motherfucking beat right here? Hold up. Oh, if I'm faking it, then why is that his voice right here? So tell me, why is that his voice on that track, dumb fucks? So like I said, Marty, you need to get your shit together, brother. You seriously need to get your shit together, bro, for real. You need to get your bullshit together, Marty. For real, you need to get your shit together and quit making up shit to try to have it benefit you, dog. Like, you need to quit trying to get people's words twisted to benefit you, bro. Because honestly, dog, if anything, if anything, Marty, you need fucking help, bro. And I don't care what your little lame-ass pussy friends have to say. I don't care what your little friends in the chat have to say. I don't give a fuck about them. No, I don't want to cut them off right quick. Let's get rid of it. Actually, no, you know what? Let's leave that chat overlay there. But how can I do it to where? You know what? I think I will leave the chat overlay in. Hold up. But, like, for real, though, Marty, you and your little friends need to. You need to get a grip. Because, like I said, I'm working on shit on my own, bro. Like. You know, I'm doing shit to further myself. But you, what are you doing? Twisting shit around like a bitch. Because, dude, I've had several people that don't know me at all come on to me and say how much of a bitch you really are. I've had several people that do not fucking know me on Facebook. Hit me up. And every single one of them says the same thing, Marty. That you're a pathetic piece of shit. And it's true, you are. You're a pathetic piece of shit that wants to twist shit to benefit you, bro. And if anything, you're the insane one, not me. You're the one 
who's off his rocker. You're the one that needs fucking help. I've got the screenshots to fucking prove your insanity, bro. So you can sit there and try to twist it however you want, Marty. But at the end of the day, we all know that you're a psycho, that you're a fucking psychopath. You're psychotic as fuck. And you don't care about nobody but yourself, dog. You really don't give a fuck about nobody but yourself, bro. You really don't. All you are is a lame-ass dirtbag that does nothing but talk shit on people, man. That's all you do. And you say, I'm begging for your attention, but I'm not. If anything, it's the other way around, bro. You're the one begging for my attention. You're the one talking shit on me. Now, Marty, I'm done with your ass, okay? So I'm going to tell you this right now, and you're going to listen, and you're going to do exactly as I fucking said. Otherwise, we are going to have problems again. I don't want no more problems. Not for me, not for my family. What you are going to do is you are going to leave me alone. You are going to quit coming after my family. And no, I'm not going to pay you any more attention. Let's see how you like it when you get ignored. Matter of fact, you, you know who you remind me of? You remind me of Johnny Gobbler and Crackle Tooth. That's who you remind me of, bro. You remind me of Johnny Gobbler and Crackle Tooth. You're a lame as fuck, and you'll do anything to get attention, bro. You're lame as hell, and you will do any damn thing you can to get fucking attention, dog. That's all it is. You want attention. You're an attention whore, bro. You feed off of attention. You feed off of making others feel bad. Well, sorry to say, bro, but I'm taking your plate away from you. I ain't feeding you no more, bro. Like I just showed you. I got something that I'm fucking working on, dog. And I'm better than myself. So, Marty, you can consider your ass canceled, dog. I'm not paying attention to you no more. I'm not feeding you or your little bitch friends. You know what I'm doing? I'm bettering myself. I'm finally getting off my fucking ass. And I'm getting away from you. Because I don't need to be around people like you. I need to be around people like my buddy Voodoo Ninja. Shout out to my buddy Voodoo Ninja. What's good, brother? I need to be around, I need to be around people like that, bro. I need to be around people like like Crip K. I need to be around people like Chillax. People that actually want to see me win and succeed. Those are the people that I need to be around. So, Marty. You can consider yourself cut. You can consider yourself chopped off. You can consider yourself out on the streets as far as attention goes. Because you ain't living in my headspace rent free no more, homie. Oh man. What a fucking day. I sit here, hang out with my crew, get ready for the World Cup coming up on the 3rd. Shout out to my team. And everybody that's going to be competing in the Forza World Cup. Which I'm super stoked about. But that's not why we're here today. 
a certain somebody by the name of Bay Shaman is being dumb. Like, bro, I laugh at your ignorance. And do you want to know why I laugh at your ignorance? Because Bay Shaman, unlike you, I'm actually going somewhere with my life, bro. I mean, you attacking someone's family just shows that you're bitch made. You attacking someone's family just shows how much of a bitch you are. I mean, you really think that you're the only one that's attacked my family? Nah, bro. You ain't the only one. And I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna be the last either. But bro, you think that what you say to me affects me? Bro. Not even close. You're a fucking bitch. I mean, for real, you're a fucking bitch if you attack someone's family, dog. You're a pussy coward. All you do is sit behind your computer all day and talk shit on people just like music fuckboy Marty. That's all you do, bro. You talk shit on motherfuckers just like dumb fuck Marty and everyone else on the internet, bro. While me, I do music. Here in the next few months, I'm going to be going to get my driver's license and going to fucking race school, okay? So, I'm actually doing shit with my life. And yes, you guys heard me correctly. As soon as I get my license in a car, I will be attending professional racing school so that I can actually do racing as a full-time job. So, Martin, for you, Bay Shaman, you're a joke. I mean, bro. I do fucking music and release that shit. What do you do? Nothing. You're a bitch. A dumb fucking idiot, bro. See, you can't even handle when somebody calls you the fuck out. I called you the fuck out because like everyone else that's attacked me, you're a little bitch. You ain't got the balls to do anything except behind sit behind your fucking computer like a dumb fuck and make videos all day. whoop de do you made a video on me. Ask me if I give a fuck. Because I don't. But obviously, this guy does, though. And, you know, it's sad, y'all. For everybody in the chat, it's pretty fucking sad. Like, fucking Bay Shaman thinks he's a badass because he talks shit on my family. Nigga, you ain't the only one that's talked shit on my family, bro. You're late to that party by a long shot, dog. You're stupid late to that party. So, I mean... Bro. You're insanely late. Hell, CIA and Crip K could tell you that you're late to the party. Hey, yo, Crip K, CIA. How many motherfuckers have sat there and actually talked shit to my family? How many motherfuckers have actually sat there and talked shit to my family? I know Bay Shaman is the only one. Have not people like Music Biz Marty, William Glory Hole, Mass Over Force, have they not all talked shit to my family at one time or another? <laughs> exactly, Crypt. Exactly. So, I mean, Bay Shaman. At this point, you're just looking like a bitch. Like, bro, you're looking like a bitch right now, Bay Shaman. For real, dog. You're looking like a bitch. Oh no, CIA, go back and watch his videos. Go back and watch his latest videos, dog. But based, you don't have anything going for you. All you have going for you is you sitting behind a stupid ass cheap fucking camera talking shit. While me, I have music going for me. Okay? I have my artwork. 
soon to be racing school. So I have several things going for me. Hell, I have my own record label that I'm starting back up with one of my very good friends and longtime fellow artists starting tomorrow. Who's actually one of the best motherfucking rappers I've ever seen in my goddamn life. And yes, I dare say that this kid could very well be the next Eminem. This dude could very well be the next Eminem that I'm working with. And trust me when I say, the kid's fucking good at what he does. So, bro. Oh, and just just to rub it in your face. Unlike you, Bishon, I actually have shit going for me. Hell. Dude, I got a fucking paid feature with one of the most legendary underground music artists, Tech 9 I just recorded my fucking shit last night. And the track I will be dropping later tonight. So, you ain't got shit on me, bro. And yes, you guys heard me right. I do have a paid feature from the legendary Tech 9 on a fucking verse on a track. So, yo, Bass Sean, what do you got? Nothing. You ain't got a feature with tech. You ain't got nothing going for your ass. All you are is a little pansy ass bitch sitting behind a computer screen talking shit all day, bro. While I'm out here doing shit, you ain't doing shit. So, I mean, I don't understand why you're talking shit because you ain't got shit going for you, homeboy. And actually, no, you didn't, CIA. I can tell that you didn't. You're just talking shit, bro. So, quit the shit talking, CIA, because you and I both know that you never did. You and I both know that you never talked to him, bro. So, you can cut the crap right there. You don't think I don't see right through your bullshit? I do, dog. I see right through your fucking bullshit, bro. I'm not dumb. I see right through your fucking lie. And if I was lying, you know what? Give me a second just to prove that I'm not full of shit. Hold up. Let me undo my wheel right here. I'm gonna let y'all hear the track firsthand for yourselves. Before I even fucking drop it. See, Bay Shaman, you ain't got shit like that. You ain't on a beat with the legendary Tech 9, bro. Bro, I got a feature with one of the most legendary fucking artists who gave me fucking props in the track, as you just fucking heard, dog. As you just fucking heard. So, bro, what do you got? Nothing. You ain't got shit, homeboy. Like, for real, what do you got, bro? You ain't got jack shit, dude. So, Bay Sean, if I were you, I'd shut your fucking mouth and start respecting people like me, bro. You ain't got a feature with the fucking legend tech. What do you got? A feature with a bunch of bitches that do nothing but sit around and fucking jerk off their dicks all day? Peace, fuckbag. Yeah.
Yes, we will be beating. 